Yo, what's up, hello people, my name is Glakasario from Real Dojo and I'm gonna be your sensei for today. As you already know, Unreal Engine just released the Meta Human plugin and um, I've been hearing that you are supposed to use like a scan data to make those kind of stuff, but I'm here to show you that you can use any mesh. If you have your character, you can just take off the head and just put it in there and then it's just gonna work for you. So let's get straight into this tutorial if you're new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell button and let's get rolling clockwise all right so let's get straight into this tutorial now i'm gonna import in my mesh which is actually um if you've been following me for a while you know that this character i made it like two years ago yeah and um i'll be importing just the head into unreal engine so i've already imported it um uh, exported it from maya so all i gotta do is to just drive the head into unreal engine these settings are good and we're good to go all right so to actually get the meta human plugin working you need to go into the plugins and type in meta human and just take this on and it will prompt you to restart just do that and get on with it so i've already done that so i'm just going to straight into my head model i'm going to right click go to meta humans and meta human identity so i'm going to name this head underscore mesh all right so I'll go straight into this part. Um, that's the Meta Human plugin window. Now all I gotta do is to just import in my head. That's it. So just gonna rotate this. All right. So I'm just gonna click on this plus sign. And the next thing I'm going to do is to track it. Track it. And it's going to run. And now it's track. All right. So what you got to do is you need to like pull these points and make sure they are actually lining correctly to your mesh. All right, just make sure they are aligning correctly with your mesh. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to solve it, meta human identity solve, and it's just going to solve and add the topology on top of my mesh. So let's solve it. Okay, so it's done solving and to check if it actually worked, you just have to switch to B. And you can see that the topology is being placed on my mesh. And the last thing that you need to do to send it into your meta human editor is by clicking the mesh to meta human you can just go also to the body and choose the body type that you need yeah i'll i like to choose this one and um i'll just click on the mesh to meta human yep and now let's wait for it to be exported into our meta human editor now in bridge so all i have to do is just go to bridge where is it bridge 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 and just gonna check and here is it that's the head mesh and i'm gonna start mhc that's meta human character So our character is loaded as you can see 
So all I gotta do is to edit. All right. So I'll go to custom mesh and um, yeah, I got everything in here. Let's see what we got here. So I'll go to, I click on enable editing, unlock it. This actually gives you the ability for you to blend, you know, with other meta human characters. So, but I'm not going to do any blend yet. I'm just going to the scan, assign a scan and just find the right one for me. Man, I'm a black dude, so I'm just going to choose black for you. I'm dark, no black. <laughs> All right. All right. I think this works for me. And um, the freckles, I don't need any freckles right now. And I'll go to the contrast. Let's increase the contrast. And the roughness, maybe a little bit of roughness. The eyes are getting really red. All right. Um, the accent, less red. Yeah. Less saturation also. We add a little bit of red light. I think I'm okay with this. Um, the skin, I'm just going to tone it down a little bit. Hmm. This works for me. All right, go to the eyes. I'm just going to choose this one, the iris. That's okay for me. And the uh, scalp. Ah. It's okay. To the T, I'm okay with this too. Yep. And, um, make up. It's okay. I want it a bit darker, nothing in there, right? So let's see what we got here. Nothing. I don't want anything there. <laughs> Blush. No. Lips. Let's see what we got. So, I'm just going to change it a little bit, add a little bit of variation to it. See, bring it down. Not too saturated. I think it was something brown. But more saturated, I think. This works for me. Okay, let's just add a little bit of roughness to it. And um, let's go to the head. I'm going to add this. I love this. The haircut looks good. I love this. I could also add this too. But I think I'll go for this. And um, the eyebrow. Let's take it. Let's make it tick. It all depends on you. Um, just gonna add maybe something longer. Mustache, go for something smooth. The beard, I'll go for this one. Perfect. All right. Now with the body, I'm just going to do something random and also go for the jean, you know. And the shoe, that's what we got. All right, so let's just play and see what we have here. 
Buddy Rome. Okay, so, all right, so well, as you can see, we've set up everything in there, and uh, my character is rolling, okay? So, if anybody told you that you can only use scanned material, man, that's not true. You can just copy your head in, you can just copy your head in ZBrush and just use it, all right? You can just copy your head in ZBrush and just use it, and it's just going to work. So, yeah, I'm going to end here. My name is Clark Asario from Real Dojo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button to also get notifications whenever I post new tutorials. And um, please leave a comment down there. Please leave a comment down there of the tutorials that you want me to make. If you want me to go further to explain more, you can also leave that comment down there. And as that is it, see you later on the next one. Clockwise.